What is up everybody, Buttercup here, and this gameplay that I've got for you here today is actually the last match that I managed to play with my subscribers in the open lobby I held this past weekend. And I'll speak more about that in a little bit, but just a quick note about this gameplay. Uh, it is sped up 200% just to uh, lighten the load on the upload time and um, hopefully shrink the file size so it can be uploaded a lot more quickly. And uh, this match isn't, <clears throat> you know, entirely too exciting. I just had it sped up because it's a... Uh, Pretty much just the standard Anders Goss spam, and uh, it quickly turned into a base race, but uh, more on that later. I'll take the time right now to talk about the open lobbies, and I have to admit they were a lot more successful than I had expected. Uh, I know my channel is still pretty small and I don't have as many subscribers as let's say the Death Toaster or uh, Mitch on the other hand, but a lot of you guys definitely showed up and showed your support in my open lobby, and uh, to that I am very grateful to you guys. Um, I had planned on making it a two-day lobby, but unfortunately I could only play for about three hours from noon to three o'clock on Saturday. Uh, on Sunday, the weather had actually gotten pretty bad. We got a decent amount of snowfall, and my internet actually got knocked out for the better half of most of the day, and it didn't end up coming back until like nine o'clock at night. So I'll have to figure out another time when I can uh, get together and hold another open lobby. There were quite a bit of people on uh, Saturday who wanted to get into the games, but were unable to because in the game of Halo Wars, uh, in an open lobby, there really are only about five free slots. And uh, games typically take about 10 to 20 minutes rather than um, other games like, let's say, Call of Duty. When a person holds an open lobby in there, they can get pretty much 15 other people in. And games run anywhere from uh, 5 to 10 minutes, so it's a lot uh, it's a lot easier for people on that game to uh, hold open lobbies. But, as I said, I'll try and get a... Uh, Another open lobby going sometime, I just have to find an opening in my schedule, and hopefully I'll be able to play with all the other players who are unable to make it in my first of hopefully many open lobbies to come. So anyway, as you can see here in this game, I'm going to grab the second base, uh, put up a barracks, stick a soldier in that tech, and finally go to Goss. Um, the subscribers I managed to play with... I've got to say, I was pretty impressed with uh, how many other good Halo Wars players they are. I typically never run into them in uh, arranged 3v3s, and I definitely don't run into any of them in the unarranged 3v3s that I've been playing. Uh, it was quite a pleasant surprise. Um, I know true skill is one way to gauge just how well a player is, and I've been uh, skimming over the leaderboards every now and then just to see um, where my subscribers stand in uh, the global rankings on Halo Wars. But uh, you never really know just how good a person is until you play with them, and I've got to say, some of you are very impressive players. I, I might even go as far as to say as some of you are quite a bit better than I am. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a refreshing change of pace to play with some quote-unquote good players. Um, I know there were a lot of other players who wanted to get into my open lobby, like Shaw was going to bring one of his friends Lonk, who can I who I can only expect to be as good as Shaw is. And, uh, yeah, hopefully some of you guys manage to um, pass around some of your gamer tags, find some players you can play in arranged matches with. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to play any of the uh, newer game variants that were available in the DLC, and I don't think we got any of the new maps of um, Memorial Basin or, what is it, Glacial Ravine. To be played. I don't think anybody. I don't think once we got into a lobby where everybody had the DLC. But hopefully, I'll be able to get some gameplay like that in a later open lobby. Uh, I guess I can talk about the gameplay a bit here. I'm going to go ahead and slap down a third base. Just makes spamming Goss a whole lot easier. And I encounter some of Blue's tanks right here. But uh, I'm not going to do anything to uh, deal with that. That's going to be the Arbiter and the other Anders who is going with tanks problem. Like I said at the beginning of this game, I was just going to spam Goss until the game is over, win or lose. And, uh, well, I won't go ahead and spoil the ending of this game. You just gotta have to watch it to the end. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been online a whole lot recently. Or at least I haven't been online on Halo Wars a whole lot recently. Uh, I downloaded the Mass Effect 3 demo, and I've been playing the hell out of that game. Multiplayer is a lot more fun than I expected it to be. Um, and I actually think I'll be putting up one of those gameplays pretty soon. I, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, give the uh, notion that this channel is exclusively going to be for Halo Wars gameplay, because if it was, I'd probably, you know, either shut this channel down or blow my brains out. Uh, don't get me wrong, Halo Wars is a great game, and it has 
probably been the Xbox game that I've logged the most hours on out of my entire library, which um, you guys can either, you know, see my library of games on my gamer tag, or I'm thinking about doing a setup video. I know Mitch had put up a setup video, and I left a comment that, you know, you've got a pretty cool setup, bro, but uh, not as cool as mine, so you can expect a setup video to come in the future. I just uh, rearranged my room, and it's looking pretty slick, so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, yeah, Mass Effect 3, um, I never really played Mass Effects 1 or 2, but I had watched um, Excalizor's Vanguard Insanity Mass Effect 2 playthrough, and I'm pretty familiar with most of the lore, and I do enjoy the uh, unique uh, storytelling approach that Bioware has done with that series. But, um, so yeah, Mass Effect 3, I'll probably get some multiplayer gameplay up of that. I know Dr. Buckler has been playing that quite a bit, and he is very high ranked, even though it's just the demo. I'm not entirely sure whether or not I want to buy Mass Effect 3, um, but the game really does have me hooked. I think I may break down and then end up buying it. Uh, so I'm asking you guys to leave a comment below telling me, would you be interested in seeing something other than Halo Wars, or are you subscribed purely for Halo Wars? Uh, at the time of this recording, I do have three non-Halo Wars videos on my uh, channel. Two of them are um, just... Uh, I guess tutorial videos on how to beat certain missions and spec ops on uh, Modern Warfare 3 and another one is just a video saying hey if anybody wants to play Modern Warfare 3 with me go ahead and feel free. It didn't get a whole lot of views and um, my Halo Wars videos are you know definitely leading in the view count as far as um, my channel's videos go. But uh, yeah bottom line just tell me whether or not you'd like to see other gameplay. I do have Skyrim and I know quite a few people have been asking for Skyrim. The trouble with the game of Skyrim is it's not really a video that you can upload gameplays of. It is the quintessential single player game. Um, everything you do in that is really for your own satisfaction. You know, it's uh, definitely a grinding RPG as far as games go. Uh, I could put up gameplay, or if any of you who have the game Skyrim have suggestions on what I could put up, that could be entertaining, go ahead and, you know, comment on that or send me a message about what you would like to see. I'm thinking about doing a video showing you how to power level all the way to 81. I know Dr. Buckler had said in one of his Super Turtle videos that he would like to put out one of those, and I definitely don't want to, um, you know, overstep my boundaries. If he wants to get a video up like that, um, then he definitely should, but uh, if he doesn't get on it and I find the opportunity to do it, I'm going to go ahead and put up one of those videos myself. I'm, pretty much know exactly exactly what to do but uh, yeah it looks like this game might be drawing to an end we've got about two minutes left in the video I think and there we see one player has uh, been defeated which leaves just two left to go uh, I think overall I end up with about six or seven bases this game as we just uh, are in full-on base race mode right here as you can see I have nothing but fire bases with supply pads and I'm just continually cranking out hog after hog and there are Black's tanks right there clearing out Orange's base, but I believe Orange pulls down with his tanks uh, and starts to take him out while I continue to make clean sweeps across the map trying to deny any uh, bases to keep Black in this game. And it should be over shortly. So again, just to reiterate, uh, I had a whole lot of fun playing with my subscribers in the open lobbies. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get anything, or I couldn't hold an open lobby last Sunday, but you know, Nature, Mother Nature will, uh, <laughs> there's pretty much no defying Mother Nature. When the snow came down, my internet went out, and there was not a whole lot I could do. I'll try and get another open lobby at some point, um, maybe even in another game. Let me know if you'd like to see anything other than uh, Halo Wars on this channel. Uh, I'll definitely be putting up a Mass Effect gameplay. It is a very great game, and if any of you are playing Mass Effect 3 demo, um, maybe we can, you know, play some of those multiplayer matches. But anyway, this game is drawing to a close, so this is Buttercup signing out, and I will see you guys later. Peace.